Welcome back to Everything Fraser Coast. I'm Jussie Lindeberg, your host. And some days you really don't know who you're going to run into and how the conversation is going to go. And today was one of those days where we've sat down with a local gentleman who's started a business in January and it's really going from strength to strength, providing a really much needed service here in the Fraser Coast. I hope you enjoy and have a listen all the way through because you may just know someone who can benefit from Fraser Coast Time Out. So it's a beautiful setting down here at Bean Beat at Wetside at Pialba. Pialba? It's going Pialba. Pialba. Got that right. And yep. so we're meeting with Errol Rafter. Packed to the rafters, that's how I remembered your name. <laughs> <laughs> from Fraser Coast Time Out. And I tell you what, are you a childcare service, Errol? We are everything. <laughs> <laughs> Give parents time out. <laughs> I came across Errol's business on a Facebook post recently and got in touch with him, though he was John Smith. <laughs> Obviously running from the police, hiding from someone. Anyway, he has an alias on Facebook. But Errol is That's the all man. changed now. Oh, has it? I, I go by my real name. <laughs> I love your voice. It's going to come across beautifully oh, in this podcast. Thank you. And um, so Lee and I are meeting with Errol to hear about Fraser Coast Time Out. So Errol, please tell tell the listeners um, and your soon-to-be fans of what you do. <laughs> um, Fraser Coast Time Out is all about supporting people with disabilities. Um, but it's so much more. What you offer is so much more than that. You've it's... Been in there. <laughs> <laughs> <Let me> talk. <laughs> no. We do offer uh, alternative supports, um, such as four-wheel driving. We do fishing. We do deep sea fishing. We do whatever clients want to do. I shouldn't call them clients, participants, whatever. So you're, you're making disability cool. Trying to. You you want people to pretend they've got disability so they can hang out with you. Exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> if, if Lee broke her finger now, can she call you? We would love to have Lee on board. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, sorry to cut you off. What no, else no. do you do? Well, it, it, it's all about getting out and having fun. That's that's the whole thing. So a typical day for a for a uh, participant would be, say we go down to Rainbow Beach. We'll drive up the beach, do a bit of four wheel driving. Then we'll go fishing um, at the different areas uh, on Tiwa Beach, heading towards North Noosa. Uh, we'll come back to the um, campgrounds, we'll have a barbecue uh, and then after that we might go for a swim up in the freshwater lake at, at Tiwa uh, or freshwater um, and then yeah come home so normally you know we would pick somebody up about seven o'clock and get home around about five o'clock that oh, evening. Nice. Um, so do you supply the vehicle? We supply the vehicle, we supply the barbecue, we supply drinks, except mm. alcohol of course. Yep. Not sound what? Yeah. <laughs> so if I was going to call you and say, yep. Errol, can you take me to your Rainbow Beach four-wheel driving, mm -hmm. what do I need to supply? Nothing really, nothing except a beach towel, uh, some personal protective equipment, it might be yeah. sunscreen or whatever. Yeah bring a hat, closed in shoes if we're going to go climbing, you know, rock climbing or whatever. Um, yeah, but the rest is supplied by us. Fantastic. I'll be asking you what you like to have on a barbecue, you know, and you might say, well, I want, you know, grain-fed yeah. rump steak or whatever. <laughs> so I will do my best. Carol, is there any charge or it's included in the fee, the NDIS fee? No, no. There's no charge? No charge at all. Well. No. Beautiful. No, we, um... Uh, we claim it back on our tax yep. at the end of the year, so you know, um, yeah. All, all okay. we charge is the support hours, yeah, yeah okay. through the NDIS. Yeah. So we were having a bit of a chat before we started interviewing on mm -hmm. air. You were mentioning that you've got someone who wants to go to Fraser Island camping. In that situation, do they have their equipment and they've said, "Hey, I've got all this. I want someone to 
come with me and give me a hand? We supply everything, but if you want to bring your own fishing gear or, you know, your own oh, tent gosh. or swag or whatever, yeah. that's entirely up to you. Okay. But, if, but if you don't have any equipment, we supply it all. Pearl, so when we get to a thousand group followers on everything Fraser Coast, we're going skydiving. Can you supply the plane and the parachutes? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still going <laughs> skydiving. <laughs> oh, can you help us get to a thousand followers? Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you should have that Thank by you. this time tomorrow. Oh. Right? <laughs> okay, Lee. The, the word is out. <laughs> <laughs> if, if there's something that we can't supply, we will um, ask around uh, through the other organisations whether they can supply a certain yep. um, outing or, you know, uh, equipment. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're into sharing our, our participants, you know, we're, we're not um, a closed book, so to speak. And at the end of the day, it's all about the participant yeah you know. that's awesome so yeah okay well you're actually explaining it even better than what it read, oh, when okay. I read it on the, and would everybody go with you Errol or is there a team behind you I have uh, seven people uh, in the team uh, we work as a team uh, again we share our participants so that if something ever happens say to me at least they got somebody else there that yep. can uh, uh, you know provide that service um, I'm, I'm pretty big on that. Yeah, so can, um, can you tell me about the interview process there? Would you would you say, um, hey Bob, you want to come and um, work for work me for and, <laughs> and take people uh, to Rainbow Beach for a barbie and... <laughs> we... <laughs> and so they, you take them down there and have a barbie. I can just imagine the interview, it'd be awesome. <laughs> I bet you've got hundreds we, of people applying. Yeah, we, well, yeah, yeah, we do have a lot of people who, who apply for positions, but again, you've got to be the right person. I'm not into um, how many certificates you've got or, or yeah. uni degrees or anything like that. It all goes on, on people's attitude. Um, I think I'm pretty good at summing people up within the first couple of minutes of talking to them. Okay. And whether they're suited... Test your man in a second. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and whether they're, they're not only suited for the participant, but they're also suited for the team, you know. Uh, I think last month or the month before I interviewed 40, 41 people wow. and I got two. So yeah. we're very, very stringent on who who comes on board. Okay, yeah. well, when I first went through this process, starting, Lee's come on board supporting me, does a wonderful job. Have a, um, an odd person on a Saturday through um, Life Choices, another yeah. service, but they failed to deliver me a, um, a someone who looks like they belong on a firefighter <laughs> calendar. Would you have anyone on your books that would fit uh, the shoulders I, I, of a firefighter? I think I would be the closest and look at me. <laughs> yeah, no. And isn't that your wife sitting in front of me? <laughs> oh, look, it's not about I'm, it. It's I'm, not, I'm, you just don't pay anything extra for, you know, what they look like. For the glamour. <laughs> the glamorous ones. No. No. Is it totally inappropriate to think that way? Um... <laughs> Let's He's not, speechless. Let's not go there. Okay, so now, how well have you read me? What's my favourite colour? Red. Red? Where'd you get red from? I don't know. I'm, okay. ju I'm just okay. guessing. <laughs> Would I prefer to drink um, cappuccino or water? I think you're a water person. Well, I was trying to, like, give you a pretty clear indication that I didn't really like water because it's on the other side of the table. I mean coffee. <laughs> <laughs> And um, do you think I like to sit around and read a book or would prefer to be doing something adventurous? Oh, something adventurous. Ah, you got just, me. Yeah. You got me. That's yeah. why I was drawn to you, Errol. Was it? Okay. So, cool. time out. Fraser Coast time out. Yep. Where will we find you? If someone's got really motivated hearing your voice and yeah. hearing this chat. Okay. Uh, we're on Facebook uh, under Fraser Coast time out. Or people can contact me on my number, which is 0419 yep. 413 780. We'll pop it on our, web, our Facebook post. Facebook, yep. Yeah, no, give us a ring and, um, you know, like I said.
If we can't do something, we will find another organisation that can. So, oh, that's yeah. lovely. Happy to so, refer. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we're all about. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, okay, well, yeah. look, by next January, could you have a plane? Oh, I can't say why not. <laughs> I'm still not coming. And, and <laughs> plenty of parachutes. Lee, Lee, I've got her on air that you are coming. Actually, but Errol's not coming. Oh, we're not going in his plane. Oh, we're Errol's not coming. No, oh, real people's plane. A real people's like, plane. Like real, what do you call them? Parachute people's okay. plane. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Okay, as, well, as, no, soon, as soon as we get a thousand, eh? Yeah. You're and off and case. running. And not many not straight away. <laughs> We could get 1,200 before we do it. Not meaning to take our focus away from skydiving, because no, I know no, no. Lee loves talking about that. Yes, but very If you've passionate. got anyone in your your network mm -hmm. who would like to join me swimming with the whales, we're going on the 24th of August. Oh, wonderful. I've got eight people in the group, including myself and someone who won a ticket, mm -hmm. who's in our was a promotion through the website. Nice. Yep. A Facebook group. Um, but we have got, at this stage, still five spaces available wonderful um i will pass that information pass on, it on. And, it's uh, on our, our facebook page oh, okay no yep. pressure no pressure <laughs> you either want to do it or you don't what yeah. what's the cost of that 150 dollars oh, okay for a full day wow yeah there is a cost to that one. Oh yeah no that's fine <laughs> no that's support fine. provided either <laughs> well i can help you up and down the stairs do you provide lunch yes oh okay. morning tea afternoon tea and you won't be lunch because the whale only has a little pea size throat <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> yeah so that, that's, that's wonderful well i'm, I'm <laughs> sure that we that we could probably fill those five yeah, spots it's not just whale watching and swimming <coughs> the whales it's yeah. the remote fraser tour oh wonderful Sco yeah. uh what is it snorkeling kayaking and tubing oh okay lovely yeah so that's wonderful and bed. and which boat is that on Tasman Venture. Oh, the Tassie Venture, yeah. Yeah, yeah. really. Well, well known in the area. Yeah. And, yeah. Lloyd and you know Robin. I oh, know Tassie Venture. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's on the small so, boat. It's like a 25 seater. Okay. And we can get up nice and close to where the whales are and Perfect. slide into the water and hopefully the whales come to us. Wonderful. Hoping someone's going to rub kelp all over me so <laughs> I can attract the whales. I might even put the word out and put a little um, uh, little contest, you might say, out there amongst the clients that might want to go and sure. we'll, we'll shout them a day out on the wild boat. Yeah, if they join your page. If they join your page. <laughs> and That's yeah, lovely. if they refer two people, yeah. then oh. they can go in the running for... Uh, How gorgeous is that? Yeah, for a day out with, with you. Thank Not you. Me. Not you? No, no Lee you doesn't want to go. This is an I, not a team, no. that one. Oh, <laughs> Lord. No, I don't Thanks, do Sarah. We can you talk about that. You don't do water? It's all right. Yeah, no, thank we're, you. We're quite long to do that. Oh, that's awesome. That'd be great. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Meeting us down here. We might have a coffee now. We might, okay. yes. <laughs> See you that's later. That's wonderful. Thank you. Well, how lucky are we? Craig's just turned up. Now, Craig works for yep. Errol, and Craig... Were you invited down here to talk on a podcast? No, I wasn't actually. It was a bit of a surprise to me. <laughs> so you're all prepared, obviously. Totally not prepared. We've given yeah. you, oh, I think about 30 seconds. You should be right now. Yeah, yeah good now. Good awesome, go. awesome. <laughs> Look, we like to wing it on everything Fraser Coast. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of simple questions. Okay. So um, what's 238 divided by 2.5? Uh, 127. Oh, he's a smart. Uh, no, I just made that up. It's not true. I was actually going to try and say a bigger number, but then I got I got bamboozled in just saying 238. So there you go. Oh, your latte's here. Oh, thank you. Yum yum. We're at Bean Bean yeah. still. We're now in the afternoon session. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you want to share with the listeners um, what it is that you enjoy about, in particular, being a support worker with Fraser Coast Time Out? What's the difference? Well, the difference is we, we approach things a bit differently than most, I think. Probably offer a bit of a niche market. Um, we're a bit more active with people, taking them out to do things and to places that they wouldn't normally go with support workers. Yeah, so I've got a bit of contrast with my vision. And um, Errol mentioned that when you started working 
uh, with him, you had a full head of hair, but looks like you've lost all your hair, <laughs> hair now. It's not. It's by choice. Yeah, I just to keep it this way. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, you might have pulled, pulled your hair out, <laughs> or <laughs> you've you've had a fright. No, but I think it all it has gone grey since I started working with him. I think <laughs> And I don't Errol, know if it's me or the pressures of the... And I don't know if you um, know, but before you turned up here, Errol said that it's a condition of your employment that you jump out of a plane with me. Uh, I, I, I could do that. Could I've you? done it before, so yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to do it again, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That doesn't mean Lou loses oh. her spot. No, <laughs> no, we... we uh, if they take it on weight, you're the guy. <laughs> we, have a, we have a growing group. <laughs> Thanks very much. We might much. get a group discount. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping we're yes. for sure. Thanks very much, Craig. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.